Hi, I'm Johnny Engineer, and my last uh, report, which I titled um, Cure All Fast, um, after four weeks of fasting, I'm now giving you a report after five weeks of fasting. Still not hungry, still not weak. So, how does it feel after 35 days with no food on a fast? except for a pizza after the first week, a Chinese buffet after the second week, a uh, steak barbecue third week, and a Polish wedding fourth week. Other than those four beautiful, attractive meals, I haven't felt hungry in 35 days. Now, you know Hawaii and where I got my nutrition. I've been recycling my own miracle water, my own kidney milk, my own stem cell milk, and now I've come, found another article, fascinating article, genetic analysis of DNA extracted from urine too. Isn't that fascinating? So let's go take a look at it. <clears throat> I left a note. Here's what it says. These results suggest that most of the injected DNA is reutilized in an organism or degrades into acid-soluble products. You know, deoxyribonucleic acid breaks down into little useful amino acids and is excreted in the urine. However, a small portion of this DNA is not completely degraded and is excreted from the bloodstream through the kidney barrier into the urine. It is this latter fraction that is the focus of our further investigation. And I commented it's also this latter fraction that could be doing all the miracle healings. Well, stem cells too. I really don't know what having a bunch of uh, free DNA roaming around your bobos and, you know, does it help rebuild? Maybe. Stem cells do. So, detection of human cell sequences in DNA from mouse urine. A very rough estimate based on the data presented above indicates that half up to 2% of the free DNA that passes through the bloodstream crosses the kidney barrier and is excreted in the urine. 2%. The amount of DNA that is excreted in urine is much higher than one can expect based on data from protein filtration studies in the kidney. So, lots of loose DNA with the plans on rebuilding everything. There are some evident advantages of urinary DNA-based technology compared with analysis of plasma DNA. you got to get the blood. Urine-based tests are absolutely non-invasive. And urine is non-infectious for HIV and less infectious for many other pathogens. Wow. So, HIV can't live in urine, but it can live in human blood. Hmm. Must be the antiseptic, antibiotic T-cells on attack. C. The concentrations of DNA in plasma and urine are similar. But much more urine can be obtained for analysis. Wow. Imagine, concentrations of DNA are the same in your urine as in your blood. Wow. Isolation of DNA from urine is technically much easier because the protein concentration is a thousand-fold lower. So you got a much purer shot of DNA unclouded by all the other products in the blood. E. In our study, we had no problem with PCR inhibitors, a well-known problem for DNA isolated from the blood. In some cases, parallel analysis of urine and plasma DNA will increase the test reliability. So, do we call it stem cell or DNA water? It has high concentration of DNA and whole stem cells already built. Wow, what a positive feedback loop. Ain't God grand. So, I'm into my 36th day of a fast, and even I am astounded that I don't feel any hunger. And of course, we know the benefits of, you know, the uh, on the body of starvation, which makes the healthy cells hunker down and even get stronger and work better. That's why the people who cut back on the calorie intake restrictively expect to live much longer lives. I guess I don't even want you to eat so much. And the faster you eat it, the faster you go. So, 35 days, except for those four banquets, and I'm just going to see how long I can last.